Oliver, Stuart Gulliver, the CEO of HSBC, has now been in the job um, for a second full calendar year. So he's kind of out of excuses. Um, results were today. Um, how was his second year? Well, uh, the market doesn't really like the look of it. The shares down sort of two or three percent today, so uh, the market's not too impressed. That said, they've they've done very well. They're up about thirty percent in the past year. So I think generally the market approves of him. Um, he's done a lot in terms of slimming down the business. He's got rid of forty-seven different business units. He's cut a lot of staff. He's, he's sort of slimmed things down. Uh, the share price fall today is really down to a bit of a miss on the results. Particularly, costs were higher than analysts anticipated, which is why the shares are off a bit this morning. And let's explore that a little bit because a big part of his initial year and a half or even two years was about getting the house in order I guess and that includes the divestments that you talk about. Mm. You'd expect costs to be under control as well if you were housekeeping wouldn't you? Yeah and to an extent they are under control. The, the overall cost picture is muddied by partly movements in um, fair value of debt but also more importantly by costs related to um, the impairment, the PPI mis selling mm. in the UK and to the um, the Iran, uh, the sorry, the um, Mexican problems they've had in the U.S., the money laundering problems. So they've had to pay a lot for that. Um, that's depressed their their cost to income ratio slightly. But but even so, even underlying that, it's not perhaps as good as it could be. And on the revenue side, let's turn the revenue now. How's that looking last year? Um, underlying revenue is up seven percent. It's a it's a pretty good number. Again, slightly light of what analysts were expecting. But let's not remember that. Let's not forget the seven percent is actually a pretty good number. You compare it to other Europe-based ba banks who are struggling to grow at anything more than GDP, and seven percent growth looks actually quite good. And that's largely because of its exposure to Hong Kong and, and wider Asia. Um, but the overall picture is sort of held back slightly by its exposure to Europe and North America. Yeah, we mustn't be too negative, must we? I mean, it does have exposure to some very fast-growing parts of the world, and the fact that it's getting its book in order is also reflected in the valuation, isn't it? It is, yes. The share's quite pricey, 1.3 times book value. That's well above the sector on 0.9 times book value. So it is at a premium, but not as much of a premium as, say, Standard Chartered. And uh, HSBC has a lot of good exposure, as, as you mentioned, so it's, the premium is looking reasonable, I think. And what do you think HSBC need, needs to do as a final question to get the share price ticking up again? He's done the housekeeping stage. How do we get the growth happening now, do you think? Well, he needs to invest capital. Uh, it's got a good capital ratio, 10.3% uh, under Basel III rule. So the capital is looking good. It's got the money to invest in growing businesses where there are growth opportunities. Against that, there are calls for him to increase the dividend. There was an increase this morning. Some people wanted him to increase it even more. But if there are growth opportunities out there, he really should be looking at those. Well, we look forward to uh, Stuart's third year as CEO of HSBC. Thank you very much for that update.